Hey, Kevin Van Dam here. We just got out on the water here. We're at Kentucky Lake. Uh, we're here in the fall. We're at the Strike King Riders Conference. And, uh, you know, the conditions are typical of fall. We've got a cool morning. Uh, we got a little bit of wind blowing, which is probably a good thing, you know. We've got a big grass bed here. You know, there's lots of hydrilla this year. You know, the drought all over the country has, uh, you know, hurt some areas, but at Kentucky Lake, it's probably helped because the water's been stable. It's really allowed the grass to get really tall and thick. You know, they've dropped the lake down now, so a lot of it's matted out. And the fish are chasing shad. You know, they're they're on that fall pattern. They're, they're starting, the water temperature's dropping now. It's just below 70 degrees. With this wind this morning, we're gonna try a spinner bait. You know, the, the best bite has been top water. You know, you look and watch these big grass flats when it's calm and you can see the bass chasing shad and you know what areas to look at. With this wind this morning, we really can't see anything, see where they're at. So we're just gonna, you know, put the trolling motor down and go down a big stretch of it and hopefully we can run into some little pods of them. We'll see what happens. This hydrilla it gets real thick, but for me, what's been best is these areas where it's patchier, you know, the scattered, if you can find it where it's a little bit clumpy and, you know, those bass can get around it and ambush the, the pods of shad, especially on the outside edge. You know, the current will be pulling the, the uh, water down along the edge and those pods of shad just drift along with it. And they just sit there and wait by a clump of grass until a pot of shad comes um, by. You know, if the water's real, real clear or pretty clear like this, I mean, we've got, you know, a couple of feet of visibility here, and you know, this grass has only grown out to about six feet, so it's it's not going to be out of their uh, sight line anywhere in the cast. So when you got water that's clear like that, you want to keep the bait above the fish's line of sight. So I'm trying to keep it just below the surface, you know. I want it right there underneath these waves so that the wave action and the surface itself as the bass is looking up at it helps break up the outline of that bait. You know, if you get it down, you know, if it's up there in the sky like towards the sun, they see the flash and the movement. If it's right down here on your level, you can get a really good look at it. So to me, that's, that's critical to, uh, to do is keep that bait high in the water column like that. There's one. He's right on the point. I mean, that's right where the fish should be. God, he hammered it too. It's a good, good keeper fish. You know, I mean, he just hammered that spinner bait. I came all the way right here to the end of this, uh, this little grass point. Threw a spinner bait right across the upwind side of it, and he pounded it. So. Good sign right there when they hit it like that, that you got the right bait, the right color. And another good thing is, is there's probably more there. You know, there's probably more right close. He was very aggressive. It's, it's, oh God, there's a good one. Just like I said, you know, when you, when you catch one, good chance there's gonna be more. It's really important to pay good attention to, uh, you know, how a fish takes the bait. It's one of the things I was about to talk about until I was rudely interrupted by that second bass was, you know, when you get a bite like that, it's really important to kind of sit there and analyze exactly what happened. So you know you got the right uh, lure pattern, you know, technique for the situation because, you know, if the fish are just hammering it just like that with a spinnerbait, you know, if they're eating your spinnerbait and you're catching them on the main hook, not the trailer hook, you know, you got the right color, you're moving the right speed, you got the right size bait. You know, if they're, you know, slapping at the bait or you're just catching them on the trailer hook, you might need to make an adjustment. You know, it might not be change base, but it might be just change your presentation. You know, jerk it, stop it, twitch it. Try to get the fish to react a little, little more aggressively to get them to eat it. So I'm always paying close attention to, to how the fish actually take the bait.